here from Silver Retrievers, and welcome back to another episode of Sick Gear Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of Sick Gear's newest pieces, the Jetstream Jacket. Uh, it's become one of my favorite pieces in the hunt, and uh, pretty much any time it's that kind of weather for hoodie weather, I'm wearing this kind of jacket because it fits that description perfectly. But before we dive into the jacket itself and we try it on, let's take the description right off the website. The Jetstream Jacket. Uh, it is listed at 349. It has sizes from small all the way up to 3XL. Has 118 reviews, uh, 4.5 out of 5 stars. It comes in five colors: uh, Optifade Subalpine, Optifade Open Country, the Dirt, which we'll be reviewing today, the Sitka Black, and the Covert, which is their green. Okay. Description is as follows: One of the original Sitka designs, the Jetstream Jacket, was built for active mountain pursuits in cold weather. A workhorse of a soft shell, this jacket features strategically located seam lines to shed water while a Gore-Tex Infinium with wind stopper laminate will stop heat, sapping winds while moving sweat and moisture through the system to keep you focused on the hunt. Uh, that's a very true statement. Uh, half the time when I do these reviews, the first time I actually read the description is to you guys. And um, so it's kind of new when you guys hear it to me. But when they talk about moving sweat in any kind of garment, I guess is a good way to put it. I think the first person or the first brand to kind of like bring that to the surface was, um, at least for me, was like Under Armour. Um, and I can't really speak for any other stuff, but I know when their stuff was half decent, when I was in like high school, we you know when, when all they had was just like the, the, the uh, turtleneck mock, I think they called it. Um, that was good because, you know, you want to wear it, you know, for me it was like for playing football and um, you'd wear it because you knew, okay, I can stay warm, I can sweat and it'll eventually evaporate, you know, dry off of my body and still keep me warm without adding all that weight on. Um, and no garment's perfect. I don't think we've hit that point yet, but um, they're definitely getting really good. So let's dive into the jacket itself. All right. Today. We have the dirt color with the Jetstream jacket. It's a very light tan. Um, it looks a little bit darker in the actual picture. Um, so don't be deceived. I don't think it's too deceiving, but um, I don't know, when I'm picking a jacket, I, I, I don't know, I'm not one of those people who likes to have like every single flavor, so to speak. Um, I like to definitely have one that I'm gonna stick to and I'm gonna beat the crap out of it. So that's what this jacket is. So in keeping with tradition, I always wash these before I do the reviews. I've had about, just under a year of, of work on this jacket, of work using this jacket, um, running dogs. Uh, this hunt season, the first time I've really put it into play. Um, it kind of came into the picture last year at the end of the season. Um, but this jacket is becoming one of my favorites. Reason for that is because, like I said in the beginning, when it's hoodie weather, like it is now, I'm wearing a hoodie inside. When I'm going outside to run the dogs or even for a hunt, I'm finding myself next to the grindstone jacket, which we also have a review on. Uh, I'm finding myself using this for those uh, not as cold mornings. That doesn't take away from the fact that it can keep you very warm, all right? This is definitely what SICK has been pushing as like their go-to jacket. I mean, they even said um, it's one of their original designs and uh, I can't stand for that, or I can't stand by that enough, okay? So, uh, the actual jacket breakdown. We'll start the hood here and work our way down like usual. The hood's actually pretty unique uh, in just the fact that they threw a lot in it, which is good. So it is technically an insulated hood. You can see it's got that fleece that we see on a lot of collar systems with the waterfowl line or the everyday line jackets. Uh, the hood itself, it is waterproof, all right? I haven't had this many downpours yet, um, but it has been old enough for, you know, your light rains and whatnot like that. It has a little bit of a brim on it. You can kind of see there on the hood, nothing too crazy. Like I said, it is insulated. You have your pull tab here for adjusting the hood light and any tension you want to put on. Because remember, one of the sickest go-to things back in the day was their hoods would move with you. Um, it was it was kind of one of those things that some of the crabs would be like, "Yeah, it's too new school for too new school for me." And okay, you know, it's just too expensive or whatnot. But then the people who were doing this a lot, they're saying, "Okay, you know." I need this because I don't want to have to turn my dang head and my whole system moves or something like that. And um, while a lot of people don't get it down in the nitty gritty like that, 
for the sake of your reviews, I'm going to get down to it because stuff matters when you're making this purchase. Because 350 bucks for anybody, man, is 350 bucks. Okay, um, and if you don't find that to be expensive, then uh, you're watching the wrong channel. So anyway, we can see here, which I like this color a lot because it shows it. We can see where that line. Uh, that bungee line goes, okay, you can see it pretty much right here at the left ear and also the right ear. It falls all the way back, okay? So we can see where those tension points are. It's almost even with the top of the ears when you have this on, okay? Obviously, if you have a ball cap or, or a beanie or something like that, it can change. All right, so uh, going on that, how we said the, the hood moves with you, it's very simple. All they did was kind of make a cut down here at the bottom. Um, and it looks like this is a removable hood. It's not. It is a stationary hood. We've got these little snaps here next to our bungee, uh, bungee connection. You can kind of see once we move it out of the way. That little snap right there. All that is, is holding this hood to the collar. Okay? My left hand here has the collar. My right hand here has the hood. And all it is, is you pull this out. And you kind of have that old school look. The hood drops down a little bit more. You get, you're, you're, you're a little bit more free to move about the cabin, so to speak. Um, we have it on both sides uh, in terms of both the bungee connection and the snap uh, from the hood to the collar. And have I noticed a huge difference with it? Have I noticed myself like going out of my way to set it? Only if I have time, I guess. Like if I'm in the blind, I'm like, okay, weather's changing or, or you know, I got birds landing uh, to the left or the right of me and I need to turn my head more, you know, little things like that. But again, I want to cover them for the sake of this review. All right. So. Uh, like I said, insulated hood, it, 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 I'm really a fan of the hood because the windbreaker in this jacket is, it's awesome. I can't say enough about the windbreaker when it comes out of stuff, okay? Um, now, if you rock the, the hood down like my 80% of the time, okay, I usually pull the snaps free just so it's not like riding up on my collar, okay? You've got a good freestanding collar, okay? You've got a real good quality zipper, and this is a full-length zip jacket, okay? I do have the review of the Jetstream vest, which is this, just cut the arms off and cut the hood off, okay, which is also on the channel, um, which I also like rocking, but like I said, when you need everything, this is what I do. And I've been finding myself using this under my waders, uh, just as kind of like an outer shell, and I'm really liking that. But we continue on. Uh, throughout the entire jacket, we've got that fleece that we've been talking about. I'll kind of give you a zoom in there. Awesome fleece, okay. Uh, sleeves run a little tight, and I think a lot of that is just because of the wind stopper and the moisture wicking, uh, what they've been incorporating here. Uh, so like I said, it does run a little snug on the sleeves, all right. N enough to really have to size up, I wouldn't say so, but it all depends on your body shape, all right. When we move to the sleeves, they've got this, and I love this fact, they have the, uh, the armpit hood, as I call it. They've got the vents, um, which, you can open if you want to dang itch your armpit or just want to get some air in there, okay? With the tighter sleeves like that, it makes it a lot easier because everything just kind of cools down, all right? Uh, the cuffs, nothing too crazy. There's not a lot of flex with them. Um, as you can see, there's no like adjusting uh, or a little adjustment Velcro tab. So it's just kind of, you get what you get on the sleeves, all right? In terms of logos, we've got the non-subdued logo on the left breast, okay, as well as the right rear shoulder with no sick of uh, letter. 10 mile tag, of course, as per usual, nice little coat hook there. Okay, like I said, uh, runs the length of the jacket, we've got the armpit uh, vents, we've got the bungee uh, tension throughout the length of the base, okay, and those are all internal pull cords, all right. Like I said, full length zipper. Pockets, everybody's favorite topic, okay? We've got dual breast pockets, okay? Got one on the right. It is insulated, not much, but enough to keep the wind off, okay? That goes the full length, all right? Same goes for the left breast pocket with the logo, okay? In terms of the regular pockets, real big pockets, okay? Um, I like the fact that these have zippers on because if you're carrying shells or, or you know you, you got dog stuff or treats or something like that and you don't want the little puppies to get in there great pocket for them okay so not huge you can kind of see the the tips of my hand go to the corner here and up to the top just a nice little big square zippable pocket good zippers too okay 
Beyond that, that's kind of the breakdown of the Jetstream jacket in the dirt color here. I'm gonna take a quick scene here and put this on and we'll show you guys what it looks like from my perspective. Okay, so you guys can see here, just threw this on, real easy put on, okay? A very athletic fit is the best way I can describe this jacket. Um, not to the point where it's tight and it's, it's like, I've got a lot of room to move here as I whack my hand on that chair. I got a lot of room to move here, okay? I can move freely without, you know, when I move my hands up, notice how the center of the jacket doesn't go anywhere, okay? Very light movement. You can do that with other jackets where they don't tailor it as well. You're gonna see a lot of movement. You're gonna see a lot of pull up here where it goes above the belt line, okay? Spin around, no cape on this one as we go around the back. All right, but a great system. You guys can see I'm about 5'10", about 195. Very good fit. I'm very happy with this one. I'll show you guys here. Collar zipped up with the hood. It doesn't like cut your breathing off like I hate how some collars do. All right, because I got a big dang neck. But if we have this buttoned up, you guys can see how it kind of takes everything with me. But when we release it and we tighten it up like that, all right, we got a great snug fit around the ears, which it looks ridiculous, but in the winter time, guys, I'm telling you, you'll be thankful for it. But you can see how it moves with me now, all right, and everything here stays put. But beyond that, love this jacket. I promise you guys, if you're looking for an all-purpose jacket and a good work jacket, okay, if, if you don't take it hunting, it's a good work jacket, I recommend this one all day long. So. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to this part of the video, send me a like. If you have any comments about the jacket or any questions, leave them below in the comments. And beyond that, uh, go check out the rest of the playlist for sick of gear reviews and anything else you want to find on the channel, it's there. And we will see you on the next one. Okay, getting by and I ain't got no bands. Okay, try your best, but you won't understand. Okay.